today I'm going to talk about using a USB to serial adapter um, with Kali Linux. Um, on a Windows system it's a little bit more straightforward. Um, on these systems it is not. And if you want to use a uh, console cable to get into, uh, for example, a Cisco Catalyst switch, um, and you want to use Kali Linux, this is what you're going to have to do. Um, I have a lab set up here. And this is what it looks like. Um, I have a laptop over here, and I have a laptop it's the USB uh, serial adapter. It's an RS-232 um, to a DB9 adapter. Uh, here's the RJ45 to this rollover cable. And this rollover cable is specially pinned out. Um, the pins are, there's eight pins, and on the one side you have one through eight, and the other side you have one through eight, but they roll over, so on side one it goes to one and on side two it goes to pin eight and on side one it goes to pin two and on side uh, two it goes to pin seven um, it, it, it's basically flip-flopped and it's rolled over so that special cable connects into a specially labeled port on the switch called a console port so once you have all that hooked up um, you're going to want to fire up terminal uh, and you're going to want to do uh, sudo app get update okay yours might take longer depending um, this didn't take long so after you do that you need to install um, a terminal emulation program and the most popular one is putty uh, it's pretty powerful and it's a very small package so you want to do uh, sudo app install putty again this installs very fast and w one of the problems here um, when you use putty um, type putty to get it fired up is uh, you, you have this hooked up like I said before and when you fire up this application you want to come over here to serial because it's a serial connection and the default is TTY uh, teleterminal uh, serial zero and in all my experiences this never works out of the box like this because um, the USB adapter does not get assigned this gets signed to something else but the question is is actually what does it get assigned to um, and that's what we're going to do right here in Kali Linux open up our terminal winner and terminal window and open up uh, and do it LS USB and if you look down through here we can verify uh, right here that here's the 232 serial UART IC chip um, from Future Technology Devices that got installed and it actually got a bus ID so it indeed installed the driver automatically for this USB to serial adapter. The next step after that is actually find out um, everything in Linux is a file, so where do you find this file at of what it actually got mapped to? Uh, we're going to have to change the directory to the dev directory. Uh, as you can see up here, that's our current working directory, dev. And we simply just need to change that directory and then do an ls for list. And as we look down through here, um, all these TTYs you can ignore. This is the one we want right here, the TTY USB serial. Now on your systems it might be different. It might be USB 1, USB 2, um, but on mine it's USB 0 because it's the only one and everything in computer starts with 0, actually not 1. So once we know that, we can minimize this, come back here type in USB 0 and before we connect you can see over here there's a speed there's a default speed connection for Cisco switches and um, that speed is 9600 uh, luckily enough for putty that's the default speed but some switches um, can connect at different speeds and different bit rates and you actually have to look up the manufacturer to find out what those settings are and when, and when you do, you can come here to Serial and change this. And this is, by default, Cisco Catalyst switches are default this. Um, 9600 baud, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, um, no parity, and the flow control X on, X off. And basically what this means is, is that it can connect.
connect at a baud of 9600 and the data bits are set in 8-bit chunks and there's one stop bit to, to so the switch on the receiving end knows um, where that stop bit is so it sends in 8-bit chunks so once you get that set up you hit open and you come to a prompt like this and you can see that we're hooked up to dev tty zero usb zero there's play application but nothing happens uh... you have to hit enter and there we go um, that is the console port of the switch that um, i'm connected to the usb serial cable um, if i hit enable put a password in um, i'm in I, again this is a lab switch i'm not afraid to show you anything on this Oh, here we go. Do help. There's all the help commands. Um, so I'm in it. So that's basically how you can load PuTTY on Kali Linux and find out uh, where to find your TTY connections for the serial to USB adapter. I hope this has been helpful for you.